going to start off using cuticle pusher just to push my cuticles back you can use cuticle remover for this process to soften you can just see oops yeah on the end there's a bit of skin that's just I've scraped off you can see it flaking up you want all this off if you try and do an infill with that skin on it is going to lift this particular set that I'm wearing and just to be clear that's all my natural nail underneath this is an overlay that little edge of skin right there I will trim that off try my best to do this on camera you can see it on the end there So at this point, my cuticles have been pushed back. All the skin that was on the nail plate, I have scraped away. I'm going to use a file. This is just going on my natural nail. I'm not worried about the enhancement as such, just to make sure that if there is a tiniest bit of skin on the nail plate still, this is going to get it off and as well just getting that side wall there it'll remove see how my nails scratch that's going to remove the shine off the nail next I will be using an e-file to just take off the polish and length this is my drill, just one I got on eBay, it's about 50 or 60 Australian dollars. The bit I have on the end, medium carbide drill bit. This one, as you can see, the top of it is flat, it's not a safety bit. It's going to get a little noisy now, so um, what I'm basically going to do is just take off some length and take away all that colour and reshape the nail ready for the infill. the side walls as I get near them. of e-filing the rest I'm going to go in by hand just to taper in the side walls because I like the coffin shape all the filing on all the other nails um, 
hand filing is just tapering in the side walls and I hand file the new growth here to make sure that it's all there's no step it's all flush and also if there's any skin that I've missed that'll take care of that so now I'm just going to cleanse the nails using the Jellish Nail Service Cleanse. That's get rid of all the dust and oils. It's really important now that you don't touch that nail with your skin because if you do that you're going to be transferring oils from your skin. You might not be able to see them, but that can lead to lifting. So just avoid it. I'm going to be using Natural Clear to do my fill. Got my slicing tool, the brush, and my slip solution in a little dappin dish. And my lights just off to the side. I'm going to go in with the dehydrator just on the natural nail give that a second to just evaporate and the nail goes white and now with the primer same thing just on the natural nail And now with the poly gel, squeeze a little bit out. bigger one for my thumb. I like just, just to um, tap down the thumb one so it doesn't roll off because my hand's a bit on the side while I work on the other nails. You don't need a lot of the slip solution. You just need enough to move the product. Lots and lots of control. I'm just going to put that whole hand into my LED lamp. So that's just come out of the lamp. You can see it's lost its wet look. There's the profile of the nail. Apex. It's going to protect and strengthen here so that doesn't break there. If you look down that way, tape it in side walls and the height is bang on through the middle. 
So that's pretty perfect. It shows how perfect and precise you can actually be with polygel. That, I wouldn't file that at all. I'd go straight into painting.